Gospel of the Lord, July the 10th, 2013, Matthew 10, 1, 7. He summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits, with power to drive them out and to cure all kinds of disease and all kinds of illness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alpheus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who was also his betrayer. These twelve Jesus sent out, instructing them as follows, Do not make your way to Gentile territory, and do not enter any Samaritan town. Go instead to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew wants to remark, wants to make it very clear how merciful and faithful is our Lord. First of all, he is establishing his twelve apostles, twelve out of probably a hundred and twenty at least that were disciples. These twelve, to these twelve, Jesus gave power for two primary things. The first one is to drive out unclean spirits that we could call demons, and also to cure all disease, all illness. Jesus wants us clean, wants us free, wants us healthy and in peace so that as we are all whole, complete, we are able to love Him freely, which is the only way for love to really become. So, Jesus has given power to cast out demons and to heal, to concrete and real persons. Matthew even give us, gives us their names, starting with Simon, who says is known as Peter. Peter that comes from Petrus in Latin, which means rock. Petram in Greek, Kepha in Hebrew. To him Jesus Christ said, Beatus says Simon, Simon Barjona, That's what he says. He changed the name. You should be very happy. Simon. Simon, son of Jonas. And then he says, Et ego dico tibi, quia tue Petrus, et superang Petrum, edificavo ecclesian meam. And then I tell you that you are a rock, and on this rock I will build my church, my assembly. Church in the meaning of assembly of the cult, of the cult by God. They are concrete and real persons. We see all of them sinners. None of them are any angel. We even look at it and we discover Judas the betrayer. And God wanted it that way. It was not a mistake. Our church is comprised also of good people, rather of sinners that want by the grace of Lord to do good, and of a few sinners also that might not be up to the task and end up doing bad, bad deeds. We look at the faithfulness of God, which who remembers his people and he sends these twelve apostles asking them not to go to the Gentiles or to the Samaritans but first to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The shepherd wants to recoup his sheep and the first time, this first time of the apostles is just for the house of Israel. 
On the chapter 28 of this same Gospel of Matthew, we will read how Jesus, before he ascended to heaven, commanded the eleven remaining, the twelve minus Judas, the betrayer, how he commanded the eleven to go to all the world, to baptize and to teach everything as he had commanded. He also tells them to proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. He could even tell them is here, because God has be become a man to be with us, the Immanuel, God with us, God among us, Jesus Christ. And even more, each and every one of these apostles is carrying the love, the faithfulness, the cure, the mercy of God, because each of one of these specific persons have been called upon to proclaim and cure, to expel all kinds of unclean spirits. God has chosen through his Son, who is God himself, Jesus Christ our Lord, a specific way of salvation for us and a specific way for him to remain with us even though he is sitting now as we say in our creed he is sitting to the right of the father he found a way of remaining with us his church which is one he didn't set up many but just one one, as God is one, in a community, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, the Church is one, with many members. Many members with one body. Holy, because of the spouse of the Church, who is Christ himself, which is three times holy, because of the Holy Spirit that dwells in the church because of the sacrifice on the cross of his passion, death and resurrection of Christ which was done upon us, for us, for his church. That is why it is holy. Not because all of us are holy, but we share on God's holiness to a certain degree. Catholic, not in order to keep anyone out, but rather in the true sense of Catholicism, which means universal for everyone. Jesus is the salvation for all the nations, the salvation of God. And apostolic, our church was founded by Jesus on the twelve, on the rock of Simon, who, is, who was the first Pope, and on the College of the Apostles, which are represented now by the bishops. We are founded not only on Holy Scripture, but also on apostolic tradition. There are many things that the priests do on the Eucharist, to extend his hands, to look to heaven, which are not written in the Holy Scripture, but that these twelve, or rather the eleven that were with Jesus on the night that he instituted the Eucharist, saw him. And as they saw, they taught others, just as God was calling, choosing, and anointing bishops, priests, and deacons up to this day. Let us all rejoice in the faithfulness, the love, and the mercifulness of God. And let us all unite in one heart as the collect prayer asks us to, Lord Almighty and Eternal, you that gather all that are dispersed and maintain them in the unity, look with love to all the Christians. So 
as many as have been consecrated by one baptism, do form one family, united by love and the integrity of faith. We ask this, and we should also work every action, at least of today, if not every day, to fulfill the wish of the Lord, who said, according to John, Father, let them be one, as we are one. We ask all of these gifts and grace to our Father Almighty, by the merits of the Passion, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, through the hands of our, of our Mother, the Virgin Mary. God bless you all, brothers.